I'm Dr. Przemysław Twardowski. I'm a medical oncologist uh, at uh, St. John's uh, Cancer Institute. And I would like to tell you about exciting clinical trial that we are conducting here at our institute in collaboration with our great uh, colleagues and scientists at uh, City of Hope uh, Cancer uh, Institute. This is a clinical trial utilizing nutritional supplement. It's a, a product derived from mushroom, white button mushroom. And we have had prior uh, evidence that it may have anti-cancer activity in patients with early stages of prostate cancer. We have uh, previously done laboratory experiments uh, and early clinical trial in that uh, subset of patients with early prostate cancer and we have found that in some of these patients there is a decline in PSA value which is the marker of prostate cancer activity. So we've decided to test it uh, on the larger scale and this clinical trial is actually supported by a relatively substantial grant from National Cancer Institute uh, that we are sharing with uh, colleagues from City of Hope. Uh, we are testing this product in two groups of patients with prostate cancer. One, those are patients who uh, have early stage prostate cancer that is being watched uh, and do not require any immediate therapy. And the second group of patients uh, is for uh, those men who had surgery or radiation and now have some rises in PSA which indicate early relapse of cancer but no visible metastatic disease that requires you know, aggressive therapy. So we are uh, treating these patients with the mushroom supplement in the tablet form and uh, the hypothesis of this study is that mushrooms may um, activate the immune system in certain ways that allows it to uh, detect cancer as something foreign that needs to be attacked and it may uh, modify the immune system response against cancer. So the idea is that we're hoping that patients who take that mushroom product that the PSA will be coming down. That, that will be the main evidence uh, that, that this product has activity. So we'll be using the PSA marker as uh, one of the key laboratory evidence is that it has anti-prostate cancer activity um, but uh, in addition to that as I mentioned you know, we'll do some very sophisticated laboratory tests not commercially available that are part of the study to determine if there is an effect uh, on the immune system activation uh, and um, the patients who participate in the study uh, would do it for approximately one year taking these tablets uh, containing mushroom supplement mm -hmm. and uh, it's a rel relatively large study because we anticipate accruing 132 patients between two institutions that collaborate on it so us you know St. John's Cancer Institute and the City of Hope Cancer Center mm -hmm. so in order to complete that it will take us probably about uh, three years uh, to get you know, that many patients on the study and then perhaps another year of analysis of all the samples to really find out if our hypothesis uh, related to that product is correct. Uh, as you probably know there's a lot of interest in natural products right in, in cancer medicine and there's a lot of assumptions a lot of unconfirmed claims of various supplements and uh, products uh, ranging from mushrooms to blueberries to tomatoes or, or other more exotic uh, plants um, and herbs but very few of these products have been really tested in the rigorous scientific fashion and here we have the study which is really well vetted because it's been reviewed by uh, reviewers, you know, top reviewers from National Cancer Institute that gave it the green light and funded it. And we are really doing, you know, I think very thorough and uh, in-depth analysis of the samples of uh, those PSA markers and uh, immune markers to really determine in the objective scientific fashion whether uh, mushroom uh, supplement has some anti-prostate cancer effect but if indeed it has efficacy it would be important because right now 
we don't have really consensus on how to manage these patients with low-grade prostate cancer or early relapse of prostate cancer. Uh, a lot of times we use observation essentially, so just watchful waiting, or we um, employ something called hormonal therapy, uh, which has uh, sometimes uh, substantial side effects and there's no definitive data that early application of hormone therapy really provides important long-term benefits in this kind of circumstance. So this is a perfect scenario where uh, investigating a nutritional product which has very limited side effects has some real value because if it seems to delay, at least to delay the progression of disease, it may really delay the need for more serious treatments. Uh, realistically, we don't expect that this will cure prostate cancer. That's probably not likely, but uh, having a delay in uh, disease progression, delay in need for more uh, toxic treatments would be a substantial benefit to the patients. If you think that you or your loved one uh, may be a potential candidate for a clinical trial with a mushroom supplement, uh, please uh, contact us at uh, St. John's uh, Cancer Institute. And again, the key criteria for participation in this study is a man, is a patient who has a either early diagnosis of prostate cancer, not treated prior with surgery or radiation, or somebody who was already treated with surgery and or radiation uh, and now has evidence of uh, relapse of cancer by rising PSA blood tests. Those are the key criteria uh, for participation in this study. So at the St. John's Cancer Institute, we um, conduct uh, multiple of innovative clinical trials in uh, patients with cancer. And uh, this mushroom protocol is just one example uh, utilizing natural product, but we have a very broad portfolio of other agents uh, working through various mechanisms, including um, immunotherapy, targeted therapy, modern chemotherapies, very, very broad portfolio. Uh, and that uh, uh, is certainly our main focus of activity here, uh, in addition to patient care.